Hello, I'm Ed Gamble, and even in lockdown, I am a type 1 diabetic, which is why I've mailed some dessert to my friend James Acaster so he can eat it and tell me what it tastes like. This is Just Puddings. Hello, James. Hello, Ed. You holding up okay, buddy? I'm holding up okay. I'm holding up pretty well, actually, uh, given the lockdown circumstances. Uh, I'm more worried about you, actually. Don't worry about me. I'm, I'm here, just in lockdown, with uh, my pen pal, Jason McKenzie. I remember you talking about Jason McKenzie before. You'd not met him properly yet, had you? How's it all going? Never met him before. This was our first meeting, and he got here on day one, and then lockdown was announced, and now it's just me and Jason McKenzie. And luckily, we like exactly the same stuff. We've had an absolutely wonderful time. And uh, Jason McKenzie doesn't mind sharing water as well, so... Why do you have to share water? Bath times. But you know there's not a, there's not a government order about water. You could, have, you could have your own water. You've got to ration it out. No, no one said that. No one said you have to ration the water out. Jason McKenzie said it. How old is Jason McKenzie? 58. We might want to have another chat about this a bit further down the line, but the reason I'm calling, James, is I'm, I'm a bit worried that you've not stocked up on enough sweet treats for the lockdown. We know you like a dessert. You're right. I haven't. I have hardly had any desserts the whole time I've been here. It's been awful. I, I'm, I'm so starving for sugar. What have you had? What have you managed to get in? I had just some, just some, like a line of sugar. A line of sugar? Yes, just got some sugar, I racked it up into a line, and then uh, I licked it all up. Who gave you this line? I'll give you one guess. Okay. We're here, James. Do you remember we've done a show in the past called Just Puddings? I do remember that. I've been watching it every day. So you eat a dessert, you tell me what it tastes like because I'm type 1 diabetic. I could eat a dessert, but sometimes I choose not to because I can't be bothered to inject insulin and calculate for it. So just as good as a dessert is making my friend James eat it and him describing how it tastes. And Ed, I'm pleased to announce that it was delivered just a few moments ago. I've not looked at what it is. I have yes. no idea what it is. I put it straight into the fridge. I can get it whenever you like. OK, as long as Mackenzie hasn't picked out on it already. No, Jason mckenzie has been very good about it. He's very restrained. He understands this is our show and he's got no part in this. OK, right. He's filming. Go. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Go and get what I sent you from the fridge, please, James. Be right back. I've actually been quite nice to him. He's been worried all day that I've sent him some sort of trick dessert. But I haven't. It's going to be a real treat because it's something that I want to eat as well. I went on the internet, I found out what was delivering during the lockdown and we bought this for him. You ready, Jason McKenzie? Get a good shot of this. <laughs> Look at this! Look at what I have been sent. That's a photo of Ed looking sad on top of a cake with jammy doggers around the outside. <laughs> what does Jason think? He looks confused. He doesn't know who you are. <laughs> okay. Uh, the photo of you is not high def. <laughs> it's very low resolution. Yeah, that's what we asked for. That's what we wanted. I still don't really know what to expect from the cake itself. I think you should get in, get involved with the knife. This is absolutely bad shit. <laughs> I have relocated to my coffee table. Good to hear. I've opened up the sides of the cake. Yeah. You need to tell me where to cut your face. I think chop my head off at the neck. Just do it. Okay. Here we go. Now that's a very soft cake. Now I've got a corner here, which I would say is too big for one single... Uh, well, I could eat this whole corner. I think just do it, man. You're just going to do it. It's lockdown, baby. Ed, do you want me to just get the cake on this or do you want me to have a bit of dodger with it as well? You need a bit of dodger on there. You need a bit of everything on there, man, to get the full taste experience of my face. Going down with the cake fork. Describe, what, describe what's in the cake. What can you see? So, looking in it... Um, oh, there is Jammy Dodger on the outside, but there is also Jammy Dodger inside the cake. I want you to put all of that in. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Bombs away. It 
exactly how you would imagine it. <laughs> what does that mean? It tastes like a, a cake with jammy dodger between, in between each layer. Right. It, basically, the main thing you experience when you bite into that and when you chew it is the jam in the jammy dodger. That's the main thing there. That, that unmistakable jammy dodger jam that is like just the right level of chewiness, you know? That jammy dodger jam, you can't find that anywhere else, can you? That's You can't get that in a jar. You're not spreading it on your toast. It's halfway between glue and a compote. What a lovely description. Yes. And that's what I, when I bit into it there, it was properly like, I'm having a jammy dodger, but like surrounded by like a fluffy, flavorless cloud. Because I'm gonna say this, the rest of the cake uh, doesn't taste of anything in particular. It's mainly just like a, a sugar cake that someone has put bits of Jammy Dodger in and put a photo of your face on it. Well, that's exactly what's happened. And I've had one bite and now, a minute ago, this was just a cake. Now, it looks like the biggest thing I've ever seen. Because after one mouthful, I don't really know how I'm gonna... I know I don't have to eat it all now, but at some point, I mean, I've gotta do something with this. It's... You are, I mean, you, you are gonna eat the whole thing, aren't you? Yes. Now, James. Yes? If you were the Jammy Dodger, Jamesy Dodger, Oh yeah. What would you like to be surrounded by? Oh, I would like to be surrounded by like some dark chocolate ganache and some like freeze dried raspberries that were put in the cake before they went inside. And uh, maybe some uh, salted caramel buttercream. Do you think you want to be surrounded by that amount of things because we're in lockdown at the moment? You feel quite lonely? Yeah, maybe. It's just me and Jason McKenzie here. Be nice to have more people. Do you feel like the Jammy Dodger is in its big flavourless cloud? Do you feel like, in a way, the Jammy Dodger is also on lockdown? Yeah, I do feel a bit like that. Although it's got you for company. That's true. I've got a more biscuity mouthful here if you want me to take a bite. Of course I do. Once you've eaten it, I want you to give me three words that sum up that bite. Okay. Mm. Three words. Deja vu. <laughs> I'm not really getting much of a cake or a red gamble. So it's more of like, it's the memory of cake that's in there, really. Yes. Also, I'm now suddenly going through my mind and remembering when the man delivered it, and a lot of his behaviour makes sense now. <laughs> Why? I think he wasn't expecting the person who received the cake to not look like the man on the cake. Because <laughs> when I answered no, it... No, no, there's no way he was expecting someone to order a cake of their own face during a pandemic. He looked at me, unsure, and he said, what's your name? I said, James Acaster. And then he checked the thing and went, OK, fine. He wouldn't have done, because that wasn't the name on the cake. It wasn't the name on the cake. And he had to check, and because the name on the cake was actually James Puddins. Yes. And I had to explain to him. But he was still very confused and wasn't sure. It's a lockdown and he could he needs essentials and he's ordered a cake with someone else's face on it. But that'll keep you going for a few days now, right? Let me tell you, Jason McKenzie can have as much of this as he likes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry you haven't enjoyed it as much as I'd hoped. Here's the thing. The more I talk about it, the more I want another bite all the time. So it is quite Moorish. So, I, 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 you know, the idea of it is so compelling that there's a time that lapses. You eat it and go, well, oh, that wasn't as exciting as what I thought a Jammy Dodger biscuit cake would taste like. And then you gradually forget that and you go, and then you look again and it's like you've seen it for the first time and go, ooh, Jammy Dodger biscuit cake. All right, I'm going to leave you to it, James. Enjoy the rest of it, mate. Ed, I need your permission. Oh, 
please eat the rest of the cake. Thank you, Ed. Bye, James. Have a good lockdown. Stay sugary.